Hello and welcome. Today we are presenting uh, SAS source maps and why they're useful. Let's first start uh, inspect our page. Let's zoom a little. So we have a block of text. Then uh, you can see in the inspect that this image title and text is a card uh, group with the class of card and you can see that h2 and the paragraph and how you will usually style this in a sas usually uh, best practice is to create a one sas file and then you create uh, partials in one there is going to be a global typography and in a second one you will have the card where you style the card then you style the the headline and the paragraph also if you want so if we go here and if we add the typography and then the card update and refresh okay now let's uh, find out what's wrong with this uh, implementation or what's the problems so if you inspect h1 you're going to see blue, it's applied, it's on a header with the ID of 4. You can easily find it, so if you go here. But uh, then the problem is, it's one of those partials. And now we have just a simple example where we have the typography and we have a card, but this can uh, be a big pile, 5 or uh, ten, 10 at least uh, partials. And then it's become messy to remember or know where where is it so we introducing the source uh, maps so if you save it and once you reload it it's going to automatically create the source map so what you see here uh, instead of the header four it's going to be uh, bottom line and then six and it's going to even um, display on which uh, row in the code editor the code is so if we scroll down we see this is a card okay so it's a partial 18 and you can easily just uh, find it and edit the code so uh, i think uh, you will see soon how awesome this feature is once you start using it and it's going to save you a ton of time trust me on this one another enhancement we did is a preview you all been here when you go here copy paste so you don't need to type it and then submit so instead of that you can now uh, open the preview and just press home and it's going to fetch automatically your um, homepage URL and the last but not the least feature it's uh, now you can uh, compile uh, CSS or you can write CSS uh, or JavaScript or HTML uh, inside the admin before we only supported the uh, PHP now you have the header footer and the uh, PHP and you can easily customize the admin dashboard is in just a couple of lines so you see what I prepared and once it's activated you can see how easily you can customize it and you don't need extra plugins for it thanks for watching and hope you like what we prepare in the latest release bye